my mic wasn't on. Okay, so I realized something about myself. There is two hauls in this, just so you know. There's a fantasy wax at the end, and then I'm also going to put in an L3 haul of stuff that I got a little bit ago. Anyways, so I realized something about myself, and it might be that I'm a seasonal and a... I don't even know the word to say it, but my husband's very picky. I have come to realize over the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to have to kind of go through my wax and I think there's a lot of scents that I really like that he's just going to complain about, which there was, I think, one that he made me turn off. Actually, I didn't even rate one of them, but we'll rate it as I go. Um, so yeah, and I also picked less for the next two weeks, which is kind of what I've been liking doing and then putting this up on the Saturday after Fantasy Wax is released so you could get all of that stuff. So what I've realized is that I am not going to be able to melt like winter stuff during like now or the summer because I have like picked around these like two balsam scents for a minute. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put them back in my stash and this is something that Nick will like a balsam scent, but he won't like, I can't just can't do it right now. I just can't. I don't know why I, I can't bring myself to do Christmas tree scents. Like I love them so much, but I can't like put myself into it. And then I did pull out three different scents that I'm just not going to be melting. And I know, um, my mother-in-law melts wax and she has completely different tastes than me. And then also like my friend Jessica, J. Crew Plans does too. So I might actually go through my stash and there's just like some scents that I know Nick will not like. And it's kind of annoying to like put a scent in and him just be like, this is giving me a headache and I hate it. So take it out. Um, so I'm just not going to do them at all. So I like all these scents obviously because I have done a de-stash in the past. So if they're like in my collection for the most part, I enjoy them. Um, but I just like Nick won't like them. So this one here, I actually pulled, um, I'm going to put this one in with it too, because I'm not sure about it either. This one smells like cotton to me. It's from, um, Nerdy Wax and I don't think he's going to like it. So I am going to be de-stashing this. And then there's this one here, which is a freebie from Pink Barn House, which also, this one just has, is it this one or this one? There's one I was like, he's going to hate it. No, it's this one. This one just has like a very, it's like a clean scent, but I, I don't know. I'm like on the fence if he'll like it or not, so I'm not going to use that one. And then this one is the Monica and Chandler, which I love, but I, he doesn't like, um, like manly cologne type scents, which is fine. Like I totally get it. It gives him a headache, so I won't be melting that. These were all ones that were in my melting basket that I was like picking around and he just won't. And then there's just so much as cotton heady, cotton heady ninny muggins. And this is a airy cotton, which again smells really good, but I don't, I just don't think he's gonna like it. So those I'm going to be, those four I'm going to be de-stashing, the balsam ones I'm gonna be saving for winter. And then these are the ones that I have left that I saw them melted, which are going to be my first priority. So I still have these two freebies here. This one's from Pink Barnhouse, I think. And this one's from Caviar Dreams. And then I have these two from Fantasy Wax, which are bangers. This is Love and Magic from my first collab with them. And then I have this one here, which I honestly haven't melted just because I haven't like cut it up yet. And this is the Fruit Loop Zucchini Bread by L3 Waxy Wonders. And Cereal Scents are always like a good one for both me and Nick. And basically, whenever I'm picking my basket from now on, I'm like thinking of Nick as well because I wasn't before. Um, and he lives in the house too. So, and it's not bad because like I, there's some sense that I know he'll like that I'm not like a huge fan of, but I'll still melt. And then he likes a lot of like the warmer scents, which is funny because he like likes fruity scents better. I don't know. So since I have filmed last, I actually haven't melted very much at all, TBH. I feel like I kind of forgot because I was like so busy and I just like warmed the same thing over and over again, which I will say this one here, which is Marshmallow Fluff by Columbia Candle Supply is a banger and I've had it in my bathroom for like a week and it still smells and I melt it for probably like nine to 12 hours a day. And this one I would say is a five out of five. I would buy it again. And this is like 
not a crazy sweet scent it's a very like mixture of sweet and warm with the marshmallow and it's not like insanely powerful like it fills up the entire bathroom and my bedroom but doesn't have like an overpowering scent does that make sense because i feel like there's a lot of scents that like don't go more than like two feet which are annoying and then i'm like well maybe it's just because my bathroom is too big i don't know but I have scents like these that'll fill up my whole bathroom and my whole bedroom, not be too overpowering, but you still get the scent. And that's why I know it exists and it can happen. So this is a five out of five for me. It is so good. I need to actually pull some more from Columbia Candle Supply and see if they all kind of have that same characteristic of like filling up a room in like big areas and still having like a really good scent but not being overpowering so i feel like the only other one that i've had like that is fantasy wax um so i am wondering like what the similarities are there then i have this one here which i put as a one star this is a an american made wax mad tea party i'd actually put it as a two star because it was really cute like if i was reading it on looks it'd be a five out of five but the way that it smelled it didn't it, there was no throw. I had it um, in, I have two warmers in my like living room kitchen area. It's like an open area and I had them both going. So two warmers, but normally with fantasy wax, I could use one. Um, but I was like, all right, we're just going to split it up and see. And I put a good amount in each and I could not smell anything, anything at all. Nope. But then on the other hand, I have this one here, which is Avery Saver. I love Avery to death. Love you, girl. But Nick hated this one a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I liked it, but we had to turn it off. And the thing with this is, is like this one here, which I need to try another American. I do have one. I want to try this one to see if it was just like the scent or not. Because I have a bunch of bags from them because I ordered like all of the ones that were like a collab with no white space stickers. Um, this one didn't smell at all. And then this one, it was barely melted. And my whole living room and kitchen smelled like it. And Nick was like, absolutely not. Turn it off. It smells terrible. Which, it doesn't smell terrible. He just doesn't like the scent. Um, but yeah, I would rate this one a 3 out of 5 because Nick hated it so much. But it is a good scent if you like, like, chocolate-covered strawberries. And like I said, it barely melted. Like, whenever I took it, I had to throw away because I had used... I don't have any near me. They're like little cup things for those warmers because they're not happy wax ones. And I had to throw away the cup because it like wasn't melted, like barely at all, but like melted enough to stick, but not enough to come off. So like barely melted. And it filled up my whole entire like downstairs area. Quality, beautiful. This one too is really good. This one was the Black Magic Melts, Planahanna Flying Flapjacks, which is maple pancakes, bacon, and zucchini bread. This one I also used in the living room. Like literally, this is the only one that I used in the bathroom. And I think I just like didn't melt for like a week basically. Um, but this one I've had in the bathroom for a week and it still smells really good. Like I, I put it on last night because I was like, all right, I'm just going to use this as like a nightlight basically. And it still smelled. So these are all other ones have been in the living room. So this one is Flying Flapjacks and this one smelled really good. It does have like a little bit of that like buttery note, but it wasn't too wild because I think it was a lot of that zucchini bread scent. So I loved those. And those are my like very pathetic stack of empties. Um, so I have my empties in here. I also have been still using my little um, sheet here. I did make the areas bigger um, for the notes because I feel like I have a lot of thoughts usually. So I'm going to show you what I put into my basket and then we'll get on to the hauls. So these are going back in and these are going to probably be like first priority usages. Um, then we have a couple. I didn't pick a lot. So I figured I could always pull something extra in if I need it at the end and then just show y'all. But I think this is like a realistic amount for me. Um, is switching it out like once a day. And because a lot of these are like multiples. Um, I need to set like an alarm on my phone. I think I'm going to do that. Somebody can remind me. Oh, well. Oh, my God. I Okay, so we, Nick and I have been doing Wordle and his mom too. Oh, my God. And this morning he's like, I went back in because Lila needed me. And Nick was just like sitting on his phone. I don't know what he was doing. And he's like, did you do your wordle? And I'm like, no, I'll do it. Like, well, I'm, I like changed her diaper. And he's like, I'll give her a bottle. So I gave it him the, I gave, I changed her, gave her to him. 
it's been, hold on, let me check how many minutes it's been. It's been 15 minutes. I finished my Wordle 15 minutes ago in three tries. And Nick's on his third try. And he is 15 minutes ago. Ugh, take a break. 15 minutes ago, he's still sitting on it. And I'm like, lol. I was like wondering why he didn't message me what his Wordle score was. He's like kind, he's like more into it than I am. Like insane. And then also we got Nick's mom into it. And she's been like, like she's a, She's a night owl. She stays up till like three, but she's been like, I do it at midnight. And it's funny because like half the time she does not get it, but Nick's mom is like huge on word games. So I don't understand any of that. Okay. Anyways, I feel like this is a very realistic amount for me. And I feel like I got like one, two, three, four, four different shops. So I'm like cool with it. And then I still have these guys, which like I said, are going to be first priority. Also love this basket. So there's a story behind this basket. I saw, I think Tabitha from No White Space Stickers had this like three years ago and I wanted it. I wanted it for fruit, but I think it's, it would be a really weird size for fruit. I think she puts like Nespresso pods in it or something, but I wanted this basket. Couldn't find it anywhere. I put a eBay like alert on and like those never really get me anywhere. And then like three years later, it popped up and you don't know how fast I clicked checkout. And the thing was, is the price that they listed it for wasn't even that much different than the initial price. And it also came like perfectly. I am like a huge fan of eBay. Like I've buying like some kids toys on there too that are like used. And I'm like, I don't care, but they're like vintage and like cool. Mm. I'm like, and I was like so happy because it like had never popped up for three years. And then it did. And I was like, yes. So I'm using it as my, my melting basket. That's a special place in my heart. So this one here is from American Made Wax, which is Meet Me at the Purple Wall, which I hope has a better throw than the other one. Cause I used like, there's about the same amount of like wax in that bag as well. And I used it all and didn't spawn anything. So yeah, and it's sad cause these are so cute. Like there's so many different shapes. There's like clouds, hexagons, and Mickey sparkles in them, alien heads from Toy Story. There's a mini head. There's like a trolley car, or, like a brittle pieces super cute but it just didn't like that one didn't smell so I'm like hoping that that was just like a one of and this one smells like a sweet fizzy great pop kind of scent so I'm really excited about that I think Nick will like that one it kind of reminds me of like it's like a nostalgic scent for me for some reason then I have this which is brown sugar pound cake from L3 waxy wonders and like I said I think I have like a 20 minute haul clip to add to this um so this one smells mostly like brown sugar to me but I'm really excited to melt it because it's just like a nice warm scent which I, I was saying before like I'm surprised that Nick like never complains about the warm scents because he's more of a fruity scent person and I usually hate fruity scents for the most part um but he doesn't mind the warm scents so I think he just doesn't like super powerful scents because even like some of my collab ones they're so powerful and he complains but usually he's fine with it but Mm, okay, so then this one is Sis, which is coffee bean, orange, chiffon cake, and sugar cookie. I do feel like these smell better than when I first got them. Like, they smelled good when I first got them, but I feel like they're more powerful. And Kirsten was telling me about curing and things like that. Like, I'm not, I'm a noob. And this one smells really good. It's definitely a coffee scent that I like. I like the bitter coffee scents versus the, um, like, sweet or coffee scents or the coffee scents that smell like artificial chocolate for some reason to me or like a similar vibe this one smells really good I get a lot of the bitter coffee and then a little bit of the orange I'm not really getting any of the chiffon cake and sugar cookie but also that just might be like balancing out the bitter coffee a little bit and and the orange because orange isn't usually too sweet and making it a little more mellow but I'm excited about that because everyone and their mom has been saying orange and coffee like Kirsten orange and coffee she's telling me and I'm like okay well we're gonna do it and then I have four from fantasy wax here that I'm really excited to melt um so I have Bella and Edward which is dark cherry strawberry violet and vanilla bean and this one kind of reminds me of like my memory card filled up again that one was only 64 so I feel like that's kind of like to be expected so I put the big one in I don't know where I left off, so like too long didn't read. This one is a very like fruity scent. It's very like fizzy grape, kind of like Purple Wall, but less sweet. And I think this is very my vibe for like a fruity scent. And then this one here is the Zucchini, I can't talk today, Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale, which surprisingly I haven't melted Fantasy Wax's version of this, but I feel like this in the wax community is very much so like a favorite scent. Um, and I'm very excited to melt it because it smells very good 
on cold so yes and then there's rosalina which is mexican fried ice cream and you gotta love anything mario in this house mm, and this smells so good it's like a sweet warm scent so i'm really excited about that one i don't know where i'm gonna melt all of these i think i might melt the the like fizzy fruity purple ones in the bathroom and then all of the like maybe i'll even melt the coffee one in the bathroom i think that'd be kind of cool Anyways, but I also have these ones, which I feel like are very bathroom. Um, this one is Flying Car, which is Crunch Berry Crisp, which smells kind of like, kind of like um, cereal, but also kind of like, hmm, like a candy, but like not really, but like a little bit, like a blueberry candy. I'm excited about that one. I think that one also might be like a bathroom scent for me, which is weird. You think like bathroom scents would be clean scents, but because there's like bathroom, bedroom, it's kind of like, what do I want to smell when I wake up and I'm sleeping? That's the vibe. So those are all of the things that I plan to melt over the next two weeks. And I also have my little cheat sheet here, which has been helpful because I don't think I'd remember. Maybe, I don't know. So I have two hauls for y'all. I have Fantasy Wax. Ob's. Kirsten does new releases every two weeks, which I feel like is really awesome. You always know when you're going to get some cool things to buy. Um, and this is the second. Is this the second? Or is this the third? The third? The third movie? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because we have like serious black. Okay. So, I don't know what the second one. I feel like time just flies. Um, so I have this, and then, I, like I said, I have a really, 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 really big L3 haul, like, real big, like, kind of, like, insane. I got so much for, like, the price, I feel like. But anyways, let's go into this. I, like, pre-sniffed things, and y'all, this, like, collection is so good. Three chef kisses, and, like, every, like, everything I pre-sniffed, I was like, wow, wow. Like that, that sound, the Owen Wilson. Is Owen Wilson saying wow? Um, this one is Professor Lupin, which is mango sorbet, which like I said, I am not normally a fruity person. And this one's in a snap bar. You got like a variety of, you got like shot cups, you got your clamshell or whatever. You got this bunt, these little dudes, which is so cute for Sirius Black. This smells so, so good. I hate mango, but I think the sorbet makes it a little less like that artificial mango scent. And it gives it like a creamy, it is like a sorbet. Like it literally smells like I just popped open a can, not a can, but like one of those like containers of sorbet and it smells so yummy. Nick's gonna love this one. He's gonna be obsessed and I love these bags, they're so nice. So there's that one. Look at all the bags first. This one's Hogsmeade, which is French baguette. And like how stinking cute is this? I think they said that they recently switched their wax to like a blend. I don't know what any of it means or if there's a difference, but this is beautiful. It's so pretty. And this one is French baguette and it smells so good. It's a little bit like has a tiny sweet note, which I feel like offsets like a tiny like buttery sweet note, like little itty bitty tiny. But it mostly smells like bread, and I love this. And again, Nick's going to love that one, too. Like, this one is, like, full of bangers. Like, I feel like actually most of them are all full of bangers with Fantasy Wax. But, like, this one is, like, bangers, bangers, bangers. This one is Marauder's Map, which is pumpkin bread. Mm. This is a scent that I do think reads very fall. It's so good, though. It's very cinnamony, which is nice. Because I feel like sometimes pumpkin, it's, I get kind of a little bored of it. But this is a very cinnamon cinnamony pumpkin bread, in my opinion. And I feel like this one I could definitely warm and melt in the summer. Like, I feel like it's not, like, too fall for me. Like, where I feel like for some reason, super minty, icy scents, I don't think I could do any other time besides winter. And also balsam scents. I think a lot of the other ones could kind of go other places for me. And same thing goes with fall. I feel like there's specific scents where I'm like, I can't do this any other time than fall. But those ones... So good. This one's Dementor, which is rain, mist, wet stone, and sage leaf. And I thought that this one was going to be very, like, masculine, super, like, cologne kind of vibes, but it's not. This one is very, like, earthy cologne kind of vibes, which I like. It's different, 
but it's fresh. Does that make sense? Like it's a very fresh smelling cologne, like very expensive smelling. And I like it. And I think it's going to be really nice actually in the living room. Maybe like when guests are over. I think that that's a vibe. Then there's Hippogriff, which is pink lemonade, which is funny, like for Hippogriff. Mm. Would you act, we actually have like a Hippogriff um, from Pottery Barn. They released it a lot, like probably over five years ago. It's a, like a rocking horse. And the boys have no idea what it is. They just think it's hilarious. Mm. But this smells so, so good. This one's another one that's going to be melted this summer for sure. I need to like, I think I want to go through, organize my wax. I did a like reel and everyone, well not everyone, but there's a couple people who were like, show it to me. And like, I only need a couple people to like convince me to do something, but I need to like go through my wax and I want to like have an organization system because I feel like I've been organizing it by shop for the most part. It's lightly organized, um, but I want to organize it maybe seasonally and like scents. I think I think Hannah does it that way where she has like all of her like bakery, like I think a lot of hers are bakery, but like, like separated out into different themes. And I could do that kind of like character stickers, like what are your most used like themes and then break them down through there. Oh wait, what did I say this was? Night best, orange, Danish and fresh coffee. So this one definitely smells different than this one here. This one's super bitter, which I really do like, but this one leans more in what I'm smelling. This is all what I'm smelling. And who knows, my nose might be broke. This one I'm smelling way more orange, which I'm excited to smell the two and see kind of what I like better. And this orange isn't an artificial orange. It kind of smells very much so if you just cut an orange open and you like squeeze a little out and you like smell that. Like it smells like orange juice, which I really like versus like an artificial orange scent. And the coffee is very, very subtle, which I think will be really cool to smell one that's like super bitter coffee and then one that's like really nice, like orange with like a little bit of coffee does that make sense i think i'm gonna like both a lot so that is really really exciting and i think that it's cool that depending on the shop you can kind of get a different vibe then there is shrieking shack which is pry crust y'all it's i've been up since like five it's seven now but this one is one i feel like we cool to like mix with things like mix with like a fruit scent that i might normally not like and then make it a little bit more of like it would taste like a pie version of that, which I think is really cool on its own. It smells a little bit like bread almost, but a little bit sweeter than bread, if that makes sense. So really excited about that. I haven't really tried too much like mixing and matching scents, but I kind of feel like that one might be a great place to start. I also want to mix some of the chocolate scents. I have quite a few of those with other scents too, because I don't, for me, chocolate, like that one I can melt on its own, but the chocolate I just can't do on its own. This one is Time Trever Turner, which is lavender mint. I didn't know if I'd like this one, but this one might be one of my favorites. It reminds me very much so of like a lush scent. What lush scent? I'm not entirely sure, but like I feel like a lot of those like really earthy, um, like lavender, very soothing scents read lush to me. But this one's really nice. And I think that the lavender and the mint is like a weird combo. But I feel like this is one of the top ones for me in this collection. It just, it has like a scent that I feel like you're only going to need a quarter of that. And it's really going to like, it's going to be like a calming, like you could sleep. But also have it when you're awake in the summer. I don't know. It's a vibe. And then this one here is Patronus, which is oatmeal cookies with icing. And I love oatmeal cookies, like soft ones. So basically the really cheap ones that you can get from the box. This one smells so good. I smell a lot of the, like the icing, like the super sweet. I could see it like drizzling and like, but I feel like it's also like pretty, like even with the oatmeal kind of smell. This one smells really good though. Like I just like all of these ones, like it's just so, so good. So, so good. But I feel like the last few collections, I really can't even think of like one that I was like, I'm not like a huge fan of it because they're all just good. This one is Sirius Black, which is blueberry lemon donut. I like how I said I was going to do all the bags first, but then just like flipped over this one. This one smells so good. And how freaking cute are these little paw prints? They're so perfect. <sighs> this is another one I feel like is kind of like I'm thinking very close to the marshmallow fluff as far as like it's going to be one of those scents that like spreads out and is like a nice even smell that lasts a long time. I'm thinking that's what this is going to be because I, I kind of get similar vibes from the way that the scent's going in my nose. Yeah, I'm like thinking this is gonna be like a really good one that's gonna be great for like the bathroom and it's gonna last for forever. 
So now I'm like, I kind of want to put this one in with that one, but I know like carrying and things like I got to wait a little bit, but like, I think that this, I don't know. I think a lot of these, I might have like an on deck basket. Would that be cute? Like something like that I can like put like some things I'm like really excited about that I can, um, I don't know. I kind of want to put all of them on and I don't feel like that's going to really get me anywhere, but also I mean, they're all so good. Hold on. So if I had to pick favorites, I don't know. Cause the, I'm honestly going to tell you buy them all, but if I had to pick favorites, I would, I don't know. Okay. Hold on. I think like, as far as like, if I could only pick five, it'd be these ones. Like these are the ones I'm going to put in my like next, like this is my, I'm going to make like an on, on deck. What is it called? Is that what it's called? Like on the ready on board? I don't know, but these are going to be the ones that go in my next one. Or maybe I should save them for two. Let me know in the comments down below. Cause I don't know. I'm not, I'm a noob. I need to know these things. So that's everything for, well, no, just kidding. There's the L3 part, but like, I don't know if I said bye there. So like bye, but like stay tuned because there's more. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to throw this in like the end of the video as like a haul. I have one of my hairs in here. Um, but I have this huge box and I'm probably not going to be filming my like melting baskets video for like another week. So I figured I would just go through this and show it to y'all because it's going to be a min because like there's so many things to sniff and tell y'all what I think but I feel like this was actually like a really good deal was this is from L3 and um basically they were like leftovers from like a pre-order and they were different like scent samplers and I like the size of these because I think it'll be about two melts with the way that I use my wax I actually for the past like couple of days we've been so busy that I've forgotten to like even turn on my warmers to be honest so eh, I don't know I'm just I need like I need like a alarm set on my phone that's like Andrea get yourself together so basically I got these two um like a la carte I got all of those pre-orders which I feel like was a really good good deal for the amount that I got it looks like a lot but I feel like it was a good one and I feel like it's a good amount to try a scent do you know what I mean like I feel like sometimes like even these it's like a lot even though it's only like three like three sessions I guess let's go through these I have been really enjoying the is it the amaretto pound cake or whatever amaretto <gasps> amaretto shortbread <gasps> I'm excited um yeah I've been enjoying that from l3 I like could not wait to use it so I just put some in my warmer in my office and I have been obsessed. So this one is, these are samples. So this is Ice Princess and Snooze Button. This is very like minty. Minty with like a little bit of vanilla, which smells really good. Very like clear your nose. I probably will melt that in the bathroom. This one's Hostess Orange Cupcake Pound Cake. Mmm, this one smells really good. Definitely gets like an orange pound cake smell with like a little bit of like a bubbly note. I don't know what that is, but it's good. Like almost like a lemony. I don't know. Is it like a lemony? It's like a bubbly. It smells like a bubble. I don't know. It smells really good though. And then this one is Armada short cake, shortbread, which like this might be like really good. Like something that I'll have to look out for. Mm-hmm. Mm, that smells so good. Mm. Mm. That one smells so good. Ah, yes. Mm, I'm going to need to buy that one. I love Amaretto. It's so good. Because get that like almond smell. This one is pumpkin, pecan, waffles, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. Which I'm not even sure. It might be in one of these bags. I think one of them was a zucchini bread bag. Maybe one was a sugar cookie bag. I don't know. We'll get to that. Um, so this one smells really good. Mmm. I'm mostly getting the pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not going to lie, though. That's what I'm getting the most of there. But, yeah, we'll see what it smells like. Because I do feel like the, the other Amaretto one, it was like, I don't know, whichever one I hauled in my last bag that I was, like, raving about. Um, 
it smells a little different when warmed it's definitely like not as good warmed but like it's so good on cold that like on warm it's still really good but it's definitely the best on cold this one's brown sugar pound cake which smells really nice i get mostly the brown sugar with like a little tiny bit of pound cake but i do really love the smell of brown sugar and i also love just love like brown sugar like whenever i use it i'm like just a little bit of my mouth i'm sorry so then i got these big daddy um like sampler bags and yeah i i don't even remember what happened i think i was going on i don't remember what i was going on to look for maybe i just had like edited my haul and i was like let's see what's what is is good um so i went on or no 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 just kidding that's not what happened i remember what happened now I got an email that was like, because I don't do like, I can't, I don't, Facebook, I honestly, I'm not going to lie, y'all, I hate Facebook. I think it is like the worst place in the whole entire world. I just go on from my Facebook group, which I feel like is the greatest place in the whole world, and then I'm out. So I can't keep up with like Facebook postings of like when things are available. I should actually like follow on Instagram because I don't think I am. But they sent out an email, which is always the best way to get to me is an email because I'm 100 years old. I'm not going to keep these bags, I don't think. Um, but I'm like an old-fashioned, like, hit me with an email, I'll probably buy something. Um, and I also feel like Instagram, like, I'm missing, I'm always missing everything. Like, I'm missing everything, and it's because their algorithm is terrible. Um, but anyways, I got an email that was like, oh, the pre-order extras are live. And I was like, ooh, what pre-order, what extras? Let me take a look. So, um, yeah, this one, I think, is the pink sugar. I think all of them have, like, pink or, like, well, maybe it's, like, sugar. Because there's vanilla sugar, pink sugar, gold sugar. This one is cherry almond shortbread warm vanilla sugar. See this one? They're all in, like, little, like, bunts. Mmm, this one smells so good. Hold on. I'm not getting any cherry almond shortbread. Maybe a little. It smells like perfume, but like in a really nice, like fruity, sweet way. This does not smell like any of that. I smell like maybe vanilla, perfumey scent, and it smells really good. Maybe I'm just relating it to a perfume I've smelled in the past, but that one smells really, really good. This one is Jelly Donut Sweet Cream Gold Sugar. Let's take it out. I, I still need to when I do these videos, have like a little cup of like coffee beans. Don't they? Isn't that what they do? This one? Oh, it does smell like a jelly donut. That was the most bizarre thing because my 128 gigabyte is out of space, which I don't think that's happened in a long time, but I just put it in a different one. This one is peach nectar cotton candy gold sugar. I hate peach. And yeah, this one smells like a peach ring. Um, so Nick will probably like it. So I'll kind of like put it out for him. But I hate the smell of peach, but it's like a little less offensive, I think, when it smells like a peach ring versus like the artificial nasty peach, which peach rings do smell artificial, but they're not just like plain peach, you know? So that one is like on the better side of good of peach scents. And then this one is sugar cookie dough whipped cream vanilla sugar. This one's really light. It reminds me of something from my childhood that I cannot put my finger on. Like I had a toy or something. That smelled like this. I think it was a toy. A toy or it kind of smells like a Cabbage Patch Kid doll. In a weird way. Take it for what it is, y'all. Then there's this one, which is Zucchini Bread Nilla Wafer Warm Vanilla Sugar. Mmm. This is probably one of my favorite ones that have zucchini bread in it. Like, besides, like, I feel like there's, like, like a zucchini bread classic kind of scent but this one smells very warm like there's that warm zucchini bread it's not i think it's not as sweet on the i feel like some zucchini breads are a little sweet which i do like that but i think that this one's nice because it's definitely different but i do really get the zucchini bread this smells like if you had a zucchini bread that was like light on the zucchini and like heavy on like the bread does that make any sense? I don't know. This is Wildberry Mousse Waffle Cone Velvet Sugar. I like the color of this one. This one's not my favorite. I feel like a lot of these remind me of scents from like my childhood. 
I think I just have like a scent memory. This one smells like a lip gloss I've had before. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. But I think that that one peculiar, peculiarly, is that a word? Will smell really good on warm. I have a feeling on that one that that one's going to smell really good. This one is Sweet on Paris. Let them eat cake pink sugar. Sounds like it's going to be good. This one doesn't smell like any of that. I don't know, it's kind of like light and non-existent. But then you get like a hint of something deep down. And I'm not sure what it is. But I'm mean, going to see what that one smells like on warm because I don't really smell much on that one. And there's cotton candy craze pink sugar, which is probably going to be super cotton candy sweet. This is so many. And there was, that was, this was one. I think it was like 20 bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's a good deal. This one, I also don't really smell anything. Cotton candy. Yeah, that one's like really, really light too. So, interested on that one. Then, this one is the pound cake bag, which I have very high hopes for. No, this is like a drawer's worth. And I think it was like, my order was like 80 bucks. It's gonna be like a whole drawer, which is insane. This one's blueberry sugar Danish butter cookie pound cake. Yeah, that sounds real good. Mm, that smells just like what it says. And it's like the perfect amount of everything. Yeah, I'm smelling it all. It smells really good. That one sounds like it's going to be a 10 out of 10. I feel like blueberry is very like good on warm too. Like I don't think I've had too many bad blueberry scents. This one's strawberry pound cake, raspberry sugar glazed donuts. Mm, this one smells really good too. I'm mostly smelling strawberry. Strawberry and then like the donut scent. So I'm really excited about that. That one smells amazing. This one is Cotton Candy Craze Rainbow Sherbert Pound Cake. I love pound cake. Let's just be, let's be clear. Ooh, this one smells good. This one, I'm smelling mostly the Sherbert Pound Cake. I don't really smell much cotton candy, but maybe it actually like tones down the Sherbert versus like bringing out cotton candy. It might just like make the Sherbert not as like intense, but I like that and it is pretty fruity. So like on the fruity end of like the things I like. So I'm very excited about that. Banana cream pie pound cake. This one's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. It smells like a banana Laffy Taffy to me, in my opinion, which is not the worst out of like the banana scents, but I think I'm just not a huge fan of banana. And then there's Fruit Loop Cheesecake Pound Cake. This is probably really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. anything with like cereal is for me. This one, I don't smell too much like cheesecake or pound cake. It's mostly just Fruit Loop, but I'm not mad about it. Let's be real. And there's Blackberry Lemon Pound Cake. Look how yellow this is. Hold on, let me. Okay. This one mostly just smells like lemon with a tiny hint of blackberry, which is nice though because I enjoy lemon. And then this one is jelly donut ice cream scoop bread pound cake. This one's light too. Almost on the non-existent. I can smell very light, just like baked good scent, but nothing like really jumps out at me. And then this one is Hostess Orange Cupcakes Pound Cake. I just, I just can't believe how much wax I got. I'm like, feel like I'm like, uh. This one just mostly smells like orange, like an orange pound cake. That one's really good though. I like that one a lot. It's very nice for like a fruity scent mixed like with the baked good. Oh, we got, we're going through the bags, guys. This is going to be a long one. I'm not good at untying things. We need, need a little sip. Today we are drinking Honest Kids organic fruit punch which is usually what i'm drinking five out of five of not five out of five out of five out of ten times i'm drinking so like, <laughs> half half y'all um this one is the i don't know cookie therapy bag i just love this idea and this is nice because also like sometimes i'm like I want to try things. This is nice because this is going to be like two melts. And I don't feel like it's a huge commitment. They're nice and small packaged. And I'm getting to try a bunch of things without having to like 
wait for restocks. So I like it. I like this whole thing. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm very satisfied. This is sugared shortbread cookie therapy powdered donuts, which phew, that sounds like a top seller scent in my mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. It smells just like it says. It's, I feel like it's very, very heavy on the powdered donut, which I am not mad about at all. Chocolate chip cookie dough sugar cookie royale Danish butter cookies. Okay. I don't like it. I don't I don't like like the fake chocolate chip cookie scents because it mostly just smells like fake chocolate and I'm not a fan. I honestly I need to go I need to do a wax D stash soon. I did a huge one whenever I first moved here and I gave a lot to my mother-in-law. Um and I need to do one again and just be a little bit like cutthroat with like what I want to keep. And that one's going to go because I don't like it. This one is sugar, shortbread, Danish, butter, cookies, and tea cakes. Tea cakes is one of my favorite scents. Tea and cakes. This one smells really, really good. This one is probably one of my favorite ones I've smelled today. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This one is sugar cookie dough, strawberry bread, cookie therapy. This one sounds like it's going to be really good. Mmm. 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 This one is like a warm strawberry scent. And I feel like the Fantasy Wax, they did they do this like straw, strawberry ice creamy one that I always say smells like H-E-B ice cream. And this smells like if that scent had like a baked good baby. Like had a baby with a cake. Because it has like a very warm strawberry scent. And I think if you like really are into scents, I think you'll know exactly what I mean. Where like some strawberries like very like fruity, where that one's like super warm and like buttery strawberry, which I feel like is a weird combo, but that one is probably another one of my favorites I smelled today. This one is whipped cream mulberry mousse sugar cookies. This one smells really good too. It does have like a very like a berry mixed with a cookie, which I really like. That one's yummy. This bag is probably been my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. This one is caramel praline buttered popcorn white elephant exchange. Kind of nervous about this one because I'm just, I've not been into buttery scents. I just feel like I feel sticky whenever I melt them. This one smells very much so just like butter. Like butter, like a little bit sweet, but mostly butter. I just feel like I just took a shower like before filming this and I feel like I need another one. I just don't like the scent. I don't like, I like, I like the idea of it, but I think because I've been melting so much buttery stuff, I just know what it feels like in my house and I'm just like, ugh. This one is lemon cream, blackberry jam, butter cookie, cookie therapy. Ooh, this one's real good. This one's nice. This one almost smells like cereal, like a cereal scent, but like a, a cleaner, like, oh. It's not as like candy, like how cereal kind of has like a candy-ish tone to it. This one's a little bit more of like a lemon. But if you like gave me this and didn't tell me the name of it, I'd probably think it was a cereal scent. But again, I love cereal scents. It's something I don't ever get bored of. So very excited to have that. And then buttercream, fresh picked strawberries, jelly donut, sugar cookie. It's funny, I opened this bag and Nick like loves smelling wax melts. Um, so does Bennett. Um, but he was reading these names and he's like, sputter cream, fresh pick strawberry. He's like, it's so long. This one's different. I'm getting a lot of the fresh pick strawberry. And it's very similar to the other one where it's a very a warm strawberry scent. But this one's a warm sweet like a cake where the other one smelled more like a bread like if that one was a bread this one's a strawberry a fresh strawberry cake that was good though i'm really good that, that was probably my favorite bag so far but we have one more bag to go it's so fuddled. i really like i just i always forget I and mean, it's like the end of the day then and i'm like wax melters didn't go on today um i melted something up that for like two days just to use it up because I had so much of it and it smelled like nothing oh this is the zucchini bread bag so I'm actually very excited about this I don't have any more room left in here but I was like so bummed and I think that like got me out of my like mojo of remembering to change it because I was just so like ugh. so this one is butter brickle cuppy cake zucchini bread whatever those beginning words mean I don't even know 
Mostly just getting zucchini bread from this. Like a zucchini bread cupcake, possibly. But mostly just zucchini bread. But like I really like zucchini bread, so I'm not even it's, it's fine. Today is October 3rd. So is that like a Mean Girls reference? Mac Apple and Zucchini bread. Oh. This is what I don't get any zucchini bread. I just get apple. Like that's it. Just apple. Like a like a gala apple. This is jelly donuts, strawberry jam, zucchini bread, which that apple I really like because it smells like a really juicy, like you just picked it off of a tree and like bit into it and all the scent just went up your nose. So that I'm going to probably save for fall and it's a really nice one. And Nick's going to like it too because Nick likes fruity scents more than he likes all these baked good scents. Ew. This one, <laughs> this one smells weird. This one smells like all of the, like, it smells just like strawberry and it smells like a real strawberry, but like all of the bad parts, like it smells like a strawberry that has like dirt on it. I don't smell any of the zucchini bread or any of the strawberry, well, any of the jelly donut. I just smell strawberry, but it's the strangest strawberry, but also the more I smell it, the more I kind of like it, but it smells very like the most pure strawberry. Like if you smelled it in like a container, I don't know. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. And I'm kind of like confused about it. I can't tell because some parts smell like, no, you know, it smells like strawberry preserves. And I think the more I smell it, the more I like it, but it, I don't know. There's something about it. I don't like, but there's something about it. I do like, so that's a very confusing thing. I'm going to have to ask Nick if he likes that one. Cause that just like blew my mind. Cause at first it was really offensive, but then I was like, maybe I do like it. I don't know. It smells like a I, can't, I don't know how to explain that one. If you, if you smell that one, do you like it? Like, what does it smell like to you? Because it smells like something, but I can't, like, figure it out. This one is strawberry bread, fresh picked strawberries, zucchini bread. Oh, boy. Oh, this one's nice. This smells like something. It's reminding me of Harry Potter for some reason. Maybe I smelled something Harry Potter related to a horn or something like this. This one just mostly smells like strawberry to me, but it's not even like half as potent as the last one. Different kind of strawberry, probably. Cinnamon sugar cookie royale zucchini bread. This one's probably gonna be bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one smells like um, cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. Like almost exactly. 10 out of 10. Love that. Can't wait to use that on warm. And if I'd probably, if this one's good, I probably would buy it like again in like a bigger one because that smells so good. And I love cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. I have like 10 of them still. Every time that they're like available, I do buy like three of them. Um, cookies with the Claws of Zucchini Bread. This one doesn't smell very much like zucchini bread. This one mostly just smells like a cookie scent, like a really kind of basic cookie scent. This one is Cupcakes of Tiffany's buttered popcorn and zucchini bread. This one I mostly smell the buttered popcorn and I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like the smell of buttered popcorn really because again, it just makes me feel like sticky. And then last but not least, and I feel like most of the things in this that I don't like are because of my preferences, not because like to somebody who likes butter popcorn, that's probably gonna be amazing. So that's just my hot takes on it all because it's a preference thing. It's not because they're bad. It's just because I'm picky sometimes. And then this is powdered donuts, glazed donuts, zucchini bread. Mm -hmm. This one's really good too. This one kind of smells like the one that smells like, where'd it go? I don't know where I put it. It kind of smells like the one I said smells like cinnamon sugar donuts, but this one's a little bit less cinnamony. Both really good. I probably will melt these kind of close together to see which one I like better, but they're both so good. I don't know. Was it this one? Was it this one? Was it this one? Because now this one doesn't. I think this was it, but now I'm like, or wait, yeah.
now this one doesn't smell like it. Now this one smells like the cinnamon sugar donut. And then this one smells like, is this the one even? It has to be. I'm like losing my mind because now this one smells different. I think it's because this one smells so much like it. Yeah, because this one's a little less sweet. This one's sweeter. It has a little bit of a baby powder scent to it, maybe. Maybe? Now that I'm smelling it. But it's, this one's really good. So I don't know which one I like more. Maybe this one, because it's not as sweet. But I really like both of them. So that's everything for this really, really long haul. Long wax haul. This one smells so good, though. Amaretto shortbread. This honestly might be my favorite thing out of everything because I just love Ombretto. Mm, 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 mm. But I'm in love and I'm so excited to melt all of this. So I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.